First Peter chapter 4 verse 1 For as much then as Hamashiach have suffered for us in the flesh Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind For he that hath suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh To the lust of men but to the will of Yahweh. I want to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick one, and uh, Lord willing, uh, I hope this lesson is edifying. All right, to those of the whole four elect, may it build upon your faith, you know, and your sincerity toward Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai through these troubled times. All right, and um, you know, I was watching a couple of lessons and I seen Elder Apostle Tahar. He did a lesson uh, called "Wearing Jacob's Trouble," because the hours are approaching. You know, it's it's going to be a time when they're going to force you to take a vaccine. They're going to force you to take the chip. All right, the mark of the beast. You know, it, it kind of looms around the spirit of the hour of temptation, all right? Because everyone out here is going to be tempted to either go right or to go left, all right? And that right is the Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, the righteousness, and that left is Satan, which the Satan, all right, is, is Esau, and it's going to be destroyed. So I wanted to read this here because it's important to be in the right mindset in these serious troubled times we're living in. All right, because you got a lot of false prophets. You got those of the circumcision, which means men that know they're Israelites and they're out there teaching false doctrines still. All right, to this day. And then you have the government churches. All right, which is mind control because government means mind control. All right. And they're controlling the, uh, the uh, you know, the two thirds, you know, they're controlling the masses of Israel, the Israelites, you know, and to believe in that. You know Jesus Christ is on his way back when instead the, the true name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai matter of fact they don't even believe that yeah uh, Jesus is coming back you know they just think that they're, they're already saved you know excuse me so anyway let's read this is uh first Peter's form one for as much then as Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh arm yourselves likewise with the same mind so we all know that Yahweh Shai suffered greatly, all right? And he suffered, um, you know, being spit on, beat upon, and ultimately put on, uh, you know, being crucified, put on the cross. And uh, he gave up his body, you know, and he spilt his blood for the Israelites. And I have to say in particular for the elect, all right? So we know that he suffered, so we have to arm ourselves likewise with that same mind. You know, if you got guys out here saying that, you know, there is no Jacob's trouble, you know, like uh, IUIC member, the head, Honcho, Nate, Nathaniel, Bishop Nate, you know, going back to his previously uh, 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 show he did with the Benjamin Knight uh, guy, he said that there is no Jacob's trouble, basically. We're just going to be, uh, you know, they're just going to be taken up, you know, then the destruction is the, the war is going to happen and the nukes and then all of a sudden you're going to be taken up, you know, well, that's not true. Everybody is going to go through Jacob's trouble. And now I'm realizing by watching the lessons from the brothers, and the elders, apostles, you know, dealing with this Nate, this Nate guy, this guy, this character, you know, is that, you know, the 501 plays a big part into why he might believe that there's no Jacob's trouble, you know, and that's just the spirit that came to me from watching the videos, all right, you know, why he may be pushing that doctrine that, you know, they're just going to be taken up because, you know, if they in the agreement with the government and they have a gag order to teach certain things and things not, things to say and things they can't say, and they follow accordingly, then Esau wants to promise them that they're going to be good. So anyway, let's continue. It says, for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. All right, so when you suffered in his flesh by believing in the Lord, you know, one way of suffering in his flesh is when you found out that this was the truth and the fiery spirit that was on you and you couldn't resist it. You went and told people in your family, you know, 
about Yahweh Shai with the Israelites and then they started to look at you crazy. They said that you was in a cult. You know, they started to, uh, you know, talk about you behind your back. That's suffering for the name of the Lord because, you know, you openly, openly profess who, you, who, who the true and living power is. And it's up to you to endure that all the way to the end. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, someone not rooted, what happens is, you know, they'd be ashamed. Now they don't want to be seen, uh, you know, proclaiming openly who the Lord is and what's his name. They're hiding, you know, amongst their family because they don't want to be talked about or seen the, the, the bad apple in the bunch, you know, because, you know, it's the world. So anyway, it says, for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. All right. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh. So we don't live our life according to the lust of men. That's why niggas think it's strange that we don't go into the SS of riots and the banquets. We don't be partying and hopping and hoopling around like they do. Even though we may look young men, you know, we look like our, our people, of course, but we don't act like our people, man. Uh, what the scriptures say? Um, the portion of Jacob is not like them And that's the elect Alright so when you come in this truth You're not going to live in the flesh For the lust of men And that's why it's important to understand Whether if you're in the truth or not If you're living your life according to this world And the lust of men Alright then you're not living And you're not in the truth You know a lot of these women out here You know and I'm not talking about you few sisters That, that actually watch the videos and take heed You know I'm not talking about y'all but you got, you know, a multitude of other women that know they Israelites, but they still living for the lust of men. You know, they can't really bow down unto the orders of things, you know. And that's why, you know, it's rarely for a woman to really be in this truth. You know, unless you in the truth and you with your man and you serving and doing, obeying. Hey, hey that's what you got to do. That's what you're doing. But, you know, for the majority of them, and all you got to do is go to Instagram and you see a bunch of them. So anyway, it says, but to the will of the Most High. So we live according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, verse three, it says, for the times past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walk in the luxuriousness, lust, excess of wine, revilings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you you see that they think it's strange they always did but now things ain't strange anymore because everything that the prophet's been speaking about and your family members they've been knowing what you've been speaking about they, they clicking on the youtube seeing your videos and they go back and whisper and tell whoever in your family and they every time you come around oh the bible you know somebody always that's why you know is a hater because here you coming around, there's always somebody that got to say something about the Bible to try to get you riled up and for them to push off their spirit on you when you ain't come around to teach the Bible. You just, you know, trying to see what, what people are doing, you know, family, friends or whatever. That's when you know Satan is on them, man. All right. But things ain't strange now. All right. When the prophets were speaking of the chip being a mark of the beast, is it strange now? Verse five, who shall give account to him? That is ready to judge the quick and the dead. All right. For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they may that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to the most high in the spirit. So yeah, there are judges. We can judge you. The prophets of the Lord can judge you according to the scriptures and the ways of the most high. All right. So it says, For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead all right who is the dead the dead are the two-thirds all right the, those that despise this truth it says that they might be judged according to men in the flesh so that just proves the fact that we can judge uh, uh judge you while you in this flesh it says but live according to the most high in the spirit so we're in the flesh as well but we live according to yahweh vashem yahweh shai all right it says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitudes of sins. All right. 
and uh, that's basically the point. This is quick, you know, and I wanted to leave it as that. All right. The main point of this lesson is that, uh, you know, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. All right. For he that have suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. All right. So if Yahweh Shah suffered, we're going to suffer. And that's the mindset that you should be in. You know, don't drag it out to where you got demons over you and you're fearing, you know. But knowing that these are serious times, man. You know, be prepared to lose because ultimately we're going to win. All right. We're going to lose, but we're going to win. So he that got ears to hear, let him hear. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.